Today I want to showcase to you a little project that I've just completed called the Fizzle Loop Synth. This is actually the fourth iteration of this synth and the other three were a little bit more simpler. This has got a few more other added features that I want to take you through. Here's an example of those other three and what they sounded like. So yeah, I mean, they're fun little synths. Uh, they make some sounds. They're not very overly complicated. I mean, really, it's just two 555 timers. One has a flashing LED and the other is uh, just a tone generator. You can control the rate of the flash of the LED just by with the pot, and then they're connected together with a, a Vactral or um, Optocoupler, and then, yeah, there's a few other um, pots involved there where you can control different, different sounds with it. So, pretty basic, uh, but Every single one gets a little bit more complicated in the build and then finally to version 4 where I've added two extra ICs. So there's a 4040 and then there's also a 40106 IC. And that allows me to generate some tunes and some beats and actually play this thing. First of all, there's three ways to control the modulation. There's a rotary knob here, so you have a slide here. You can also do L, uh, LDR, so a light dependent resistor, which is right here, and you can control the sound with your hand. And there's also a knob control, so you can control it up here as well. Um, we'll leave it on slide for the moment. There's a sequencer in this, so the sequencer actually controls the speed of uh, the rhythm. And I usually have it quite high because it gives you better rhythms, I think it does anyhow. Then there's the speed, so this is the, that gets the tempo and the speed of the beat. You also have a tone control here. There's a high and low tone control on and off switch. And there's six buttons down here, and these buttons allow you to, I guess, play the synth. There's also a way you can plug in an external speaker. We'll listen to it first with the speaker in built. And also, these are latching. So to turn them off, you just unlatch the switches. So let's turn it on and uh, see what it sounds like. So at the moment we've got a simple beat happening in speed. You can slow it down, speed it up. Kind of like it around nine. Now at the moment it's on LDR, so I can control it via my hand. Pretty sweet. And you can change it to slide. So you can hear the change in tone there. And then you can change the note as well. All right, it's time to play the sing and get it cranking. So we'll turn it on. And which one of the buttons?
Ah, man, that's fun. Uh, it's probably enough for now. So, if you want to build your own, I've actually got um, a step-by-step -step guide and my instructions page. I'll put a link in this video on how to do that. I've also provided all the Gerber files and everything else to build your own. Here's the circuit, uh, which I designed. That's available in my, as I mentioned, my, uh, my Google Drive. Um, all the links are there. You can get your own printed up and off you go. So yeah, if you want to build your own, check out those links and have tons of fun doing it. Enjoy. Cheers, guys. Thanks.